These are my top five exercises for warm up and speed. Check it out. Okay, first of all, you're gonna need a metronome, a guitar, and obviously a tuner. We're gonna start it out easy and we're gonna make it harder as we go on. You can always rewatch this and jump along with me. First things first, we're gonna need a metronome. If you don't have a metronome and you have a DAW, such as Logic, Pro Tool, all you have to do is just set up the tempo on it and it'll work. Don't worry if you don't have any recording software, you can just Google it. Let me show you. Okay, so we're gonna have five different exercises with part A, part B, and part C. Part A is gonna be the slowest one, part B is gonna be a little bit faster, and part C is gonna be the fastest. So we're gonna play the quarter notes on part A, which means that we're gonna play on the beat. Part B is gonna be eighth notes, which means two notes per beat. And on part C, we're gonna do 16th notes, which means we're gonna play four notes per beat. So it's gonna be a lot faster. It's gonna be four times as fast as part A. I recommend using a low gain guitar or maybe even a clean guitar if you want to. There's two things you have to do on every exercise. Make sure you alternate pick, which means grab your pick, hit the string down and up and alternate them. Don't just down pick them. Second thing you have to make sure you do, get your wrist out, get your elbow away from your body. This is a very simple exercise. And basically what you have to do is you have to play on the first fret, on the second fret, third fret, fourth fret. So then you go to the fifth string and you do one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, let's do this. This is exercise number five. <laughs> Okay, so that's going up. Let me show you how to go down the fretboard. On part B of this exercise, we're gonna do eight notes, which means we have to play two notes per beat. Part three, we have to do 16th notes. That's gonna be a lot harder. This is exercise number four of my top five exercises. Get it a little bit harder. This one's called the spider web. So make sure you alternate pick on this. Now it's gonna get really hard. 16. Thank you. 
you start feeling any pain down here or here, just put down your hand, relax, take a little break, and then get back to it. You should definitely feel it on your muscles here and here, but not on your tendons. All right, exercise number three. This is a cool little run I do based on the E minor scale. <laughs> Now 16 notes. Okay, so we made it to the top two exercises. Good job. This is where it gets really interesting. This exercise takes a little bit longer to master, but I think it's the best exercise because it forces you to learn the full minor scale. The only reason why this is not at the top of the list is because number one makes you a lot faster. notes. Alright, so we made it to number one on the list. Awesome. I actually wanted to keep this video short, so if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section down below. I might do a more in-depth video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and smash that like button. 
And if you can, drop me a comment. It really helps me out with the YouTube logarithm. I really hope you find this video useful. And if anything, you can always follow me and message me on Instagram. So without further ado, here's my top exercise for playing fast. This exercise is based on the sweeping technique which to me is the hardest one to master. We're not gonna do quarter notes because they're way too slow for this technique to work. So we're gonna do eighth notes and 16 notes. So we're gonna do D minor, C major, B major, A minor. Make sure you set up the metronome to a speed that you're comfortable with. If you can't keep up, just slow down the metronome. There's no harm in that. It's better to do it right and slow than to do it quick but sloppy. You can tell I'm a little rusty too because I haven't done these in a while. So this is exercise number one. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. See you next time. Metal on.